Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to take a look at 392 is subsequence. We're given a string s and a string t. Check if it s is subsequence of t. A subsequence of a string is a new string which is formed from the original string from deleting by deleting sum. Can be none of the characters without disturbing the relative position of the remaining characters. Like a is subsequence of a, b, c, d, e because we can delete uh, b and d. And while A E C is not because the order is not okay. Mm -hmm. So for example, A B C we get A H B G D C, A X C A H B G D C, and we get here. Of course, this is okay, and this there's no X, right? Cool. Okay, so the input S will be will be uh, between uh, uh, within 100 characters, and T will be very long actually I see so let's just uh, dive into the basic example okay now we're going to actually search for the sequence from ABC with in a H B G D C right let's just take a look at the first letter like a is it in it of course it's in it the first one is now okay now we need to search next B right where the first B after a okay we search B we get H and it's should be a minute and we go to B and find it and okay B is found now we search C right so and we go G and D and find C well we immediately realized that we could just uh, loop through the string S and string T and when we are searching and try to search the uh, corresponding characters in T, right? And uh, this, say we start at the first index, zero, and then we compare if they are the same. If they are same, we're mo moving the first index, moving to B, and then we will search B again, right? So only we will move the indexing S forward when we meet uh, a same character. And how will it end? Well, end when we uh, are down traversing S, right? Cool. So this actually is will be done with two cursors. Let i equals zero, j equals to zero. Okay. While i smaller than s done end. And the J is smaller than T doesn't. Well, they are all within our ranges, and we will compare them, right? So if SI equals to SJ, TJ, it means we found, it means we found a uh, same character, so we could move uh, both of them forward. If not, if they are different then we just move j forward right we keep searching in t and so when this ends it means either of them is down traversing and we only care if the i uh the the, the i uh the s is found so we return i if it is equal to s dot then okay i made a mistake this is smaller than smaller than so this should work yeah should be simple okay so we're done the actual we will loop through the s and t of course it says t okay so the time would be a longer one no, longer one right so o max length max length uh -huh. of s and t this is time space there's nothing we use so constant time well there's a follow-up the f there are a lot of incoming a lot of s and uh might more than one billion and there's a t so how can we improve our program well uh, from the constraint we know that t is much longer than s right so when we're searching the s Every time we search, we will search the full T actually for the worst case. 
so it will basically uh, depending on t actually so so generally it should be o n okay s size times the t n n right so maybe we could improve that improve that to what we improve that to the o s size and average size of s average s n so how can we do that so um, for each string we will traverse for t right from from start to end while we while we already see from this example from the white up here we only care about the index of the same characters between s and t so maybe what after one traversal of t we could keep track of the all the indexes indices so like when we are searching for a b c rather than looping through t we could just do get directly for where a, a is right so for a a so uh, we could say the index will be zero if suppose there is another a uh, we get uh, zero, five or something like this of course because we are going to just to check if it is true or not we just keep the leftmost right so we set it to zero and then we get b we could get directly the index this index must be bigger than zero we, so we couldn't choose five like suppose there's only one five we have to choose five and b two well two is smaller than five so false right so we need to choose uh, we get the smallest index which is two find two bigger than zero so valid and uh, keep track of just remember these two and now we go to search c c, c is last like uh, four uh, four c here something like this and the c four is bigger than two so valid and uh, it's done so we can just check if this string is subsequence of another string with the length of itself not the not the target with this we could just uh, improve the size from t to s right but with the extra but of course with the extra uh, with extra a space of indexes for each each letter in T oh I'm sorry I forgot to change the font, font size oh it's I choose the space to two cool maybe I can make it bigger um, okay Okay, so that's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.